Oh, I don't feel much like typing today. I thought about writing a news entry or something like that, blog entry. But uh, hey, I got a camera, so why bother, right? And uh, since my last, uh, what, do you, what do you call this, uh, video blog, I uh, see my beard has come in nicely. Uh, I guess that's subjective. But what we're working on today is um, Minister Sinister Issue 3. And uh, we're doing this as we listen to iTunes. What is this little Van Halen? OU812. So we're previewing all these songs here. Now what I did on this story, um, comics are, especially when they're weird ones like this, it's a little hard to make... Uh, make ends meet doing it so I can't count on selling the artwork so the solution is to do the art as fast as humanly possible so what I did was I had a little bit of sort of plot ideas and whatnot and that is this that's the script kids that's the whole thing it's basically just some ideas so then when I sat down to start working I took a pad of Canson paper comic paper 25 sheets to a pad and uh, I made the story 20 pages long. I sat down with the pages and basically laid them out. And I wrote the story, made it up as I went along, basically. Um, and this shows the extent of the layout, right? Bare bones stuff. Now, I've already uh, lettered these pages. And actually, part of, the, part of my uh, another labor-saving technique was I've got some real super fat borders here. And what that does is that just helps you to ink and not worry so much about going over the borders. Now, having stuff overlapping borders, going out of borders, uh, bleeding pages, uh, balloons overlapping stuff, all that complicates and takes more time. So I didn't do anything like that this time. Uh, this is a totally simplified um, technique. So, anyway, yesterday... I wrote and laid out the whole story, 20 pages, and inked lettering and bordering. So today I was all ready to go with uh, penciling more, penciling in more things. And you know, I didn't want to overdo it with the pencils because whatever I can draw in the ink, I'll do that. So it's a matter of just sort of covering my bases and putting everything in uh, to firm indications of things. So let's see. So far today, let me see, it's what? 5 o'clock, 4.30 in the afternoon. I'm on page 16. So I've got four more pages to go and I'm through penciling. I may even start inking today. And that, there's going to be another trick to that as well. Uh, now here's a page that started off, the layouts were very, very minimal. And I've gone in and uh, tightened things up. One thing that I did was I, where an outline of something was just very, very simple, the thing that I tried to bring to everything was depth. So I used a lot of radical foreshortening. You can see this disc that's being ripped out here is a good bit smaller than the other one. Therefore, it looks uh, further away. Uh, the telescoping tentacle further away. Um, there's another panel. Just the bare basics of what to ink. And here again, tentacles creating depth. Uh, Kirby-esque type techniques. The big ones uh, in the foreground. The smaller one goes back, so they recede in space. Uh, here's a scene. Oh, well, we're giving away some of the story here. Uh, Sinister's got a, a spirit self that is uh, deactivating this automaton's uh, brain. And then here they meet him and his anti-self or ghost self, we're not sure what, transparent guy. So anyway, this stuff is ready to ink. And uh, what I'm going to do, um, when I ink, is um, the key th concept was to have what I'm now calling a black strategy. And I just came up with this a couple of weeks ago. And that is basically, how is the black working for you in some way? And uh, you can always put in black and not be exactly clear on that. So what I'm trying to do is make it very clear what job the black is doing. Now here's a shot of Timmy walking through an underpass. And uh, you can see the pillar's black, the road above is black, the other pillar's black, he's black, and then the ground is shadowed as well. 
So you got them boxed in with this black square. Oh, batteries are low. Here we are again. Main black area on him and his hand. So that conveys that information. Black, black, black. Um, so what I'm going to do when I come in and do all these blacks, I'm going to use a big, big brush. Not a uh, inking brush per se, but more a giant watercolor brush. And I'm going to throw in all these blacks first. And hopefully what will happen is when I'm finished with that, then there's not going to be that much line work left to do. So, hey, I shouldn't do this, but here's one more page. Here's the uh, automaton, or actually what I call it is a, a mechanican, which is a mechanical mannequin, which they send after Sinister from the other dimension that he comes from. And it's going to do something bad to him. What is that? Oh, he's getting lashed with the tentacles. Uh, electrical, metallic tentacles. It hurts. He probably likes it. But... Anyway, that's all for today, and I'll come back tomorrow, hopefully, and uh, give you an update on uh, how the inking's going.